Literally from the second I opened my eyes this morning, mm -hmm. it's just been bad vibes today. You know when the energy is off? Mm -hmm. What's up guys? Welcome back. I do not like this lighting. I don't know what to do. Should I go park somewhere else? Kind of want to go park somewhere else, but there's literally no parking. But guys, it has been a minute since I have last vlogged. And I swear when I take a break from social media, which I really don't do that often, um, just not filming for a week. It's like going to the gym. Like I have to get back into it you know what i mean so for some reason turning on the camera felt like unnatural for me let me give you guys a little update on where i've been you guys know i got my mommy makeover i got my surgery so i've just been healing from that I actually hit three weeks like two days ago so i'm three weeks and two days post-op and you guys know the initial recovery period is six weeks so i'm a little over halfway through that so i'm actually here to get my nails done today my nails are super overgrown as you guys can see i really needed to get my nails done today because tomorrow we are actually headed to ohio for the next 10 days actually i think a little bit over 10 days i don't know if it's like 11 days 12 days but we're going to ohio for a few weeks and i'm so excited to see my family over there to see my little niece shanaz to see my brother my sister-in-law mel's family so i'm really excited to head back home and let me tell you guys fall time hits different in the midwest so i'm excited to actually I want it to actually feel like fall like right now it's what 90 degrees outside it is so hot outside so i'm ready for colder weather i'm ready for you know the leaves changing color and going to pumpkin patches and farms and all that we have that out here in california obviously but again it's just different back home in ohio one thing ohio still can't do i am so sorry they can't do nails i refuse to get my nails done in ohio so that's why i was like i need to go to my salon before we head back home because they're already super overgrown i need my toes done too so yeah i'm just gonna get my nails done and i'm gonna finish packing once I get home. Mel's calling me. Yellow. What's up? Oh wait, you FaceTimed me? I answered on the on the um car. Yeah, FaceTime. Yeah. Can I see them? They look like the Yeezys. Guys, oh those are cute. Guys, Mel always like shops for me. I love it. I like those, babe. What size are they? size eight mm, i think eight might be too small i'm like a true eight and a half in nike <gasps> look at Muchi's new shoes oh the socks look so cute oh. with it babe pop 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 we always knew we we're gonna go back to ohio in october because as you all know we were supposed to go to the drake concert in the summertime i believe it was in july and we bought tickets for the whole family we get to ohio was it when we were in Ohio or I think a few days before our flight, but Drake reschedules the tour to October. So we're like, oh my gosh, like we already got all of our plane tickets and all of that. But again, it's not a big deal because we go back home to visit anyway. So it gave us an excuse to go back home and see our family. But we're like, okay, we're going to go in October. So now fast forward to October. I believe the date was supposed to be on October 9th. We buy all of our tickets. We're all about to head there and boom the tour gets rescheduled again with no date like it's right now it's just canceled they haven't even done the rescheduling yet so that is the second time the concert has been canceled and again like we buy plane tickets for the whole family like it's a whole thing so part of me is just like oh i wish i would have just gone to see him in la because now like what if he reschedules it again and then we can't travel on those dates or something comes up it's super frustrating drake i got a bone to pick with you okay like i am so upset i believe all of the tour dates he rescheduled all of the remaining tour dates let's see when the next tour date is again i'm just crossing my fingers it lands on a date that we can actually go to ohio and there's no conflict anyways let's go and get these nails done kai kai <coughs> guys look at how big my kai kai is looking kai kai guys his outfit is so cute today where are you going where are you going handsome Hi, Chunk. Hi, Chunk. Hi. You guys know I got my classic French. It looks so good. I got white on my toes. Let me give you guys a quick body update. Again, I'm three weeks post-op. And <laughs> cookie's stringing my soul. But yeah, guys, I'm three weeks post-op. I still feel pretty swollen. Again, I have to wear this garment for another three more weeks. And that's the thing with uh, packing for Ohio. It's 
I'm literally just packing sweatsuits. I mean, luckily it's cold over there, so that's gonna definitely help with having to wear the garment. But yeah, I'm like not even packing like outfits because again, I have to wear this under every outfit. So I just realized I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning, but another big reason we're going to Ohio is because we have a wedding that we're going to. So if you guys saw Mel last month, he went to New Orleans for a bachelor trip, so we're going to the wedding for that. I'm to show his new shoes. <gasps> KK's new shoes. They're so cute, guys. Look. Look at that. <laughs> a little phone closet. Look at You guys look so cute. Hey, you show Emmy. Huh? Show Emmy. Me and Daddy are about to make some dinner. And we're some real adults, babe, because we're like, we gotta use up what's in the fridge. Like, we gotta use up our produce. Like, this morning, Mel ate like four pieces of avocado toast because we didn't want the bread and avocados. <laughs> Had to sacrifice. Oh, you were enjoying it. Yeah, like, I could go for round two. It's good to be such a selfless guy, you know. I had to sacrifice for that. So, Mel and I are about to cook some dinner. We're gonna make some spaghetti, but this it's time. It's called Skeddy in this house. We're gonna Drop make some Skeddy. But Mel usually makes like a meat sauce, but this time I want to make like actual meatballs. We good? Look at my pumpkin! This is my heart. Let me show you all. Let me show you guys all the shoes that came out. Hey guys, so we went to the Nike factory store or clearance store, if you guys don't know. Uh, we got these from Uchi Mooch. So cute. These are some sort of Air Max. Kai Kai, the Air Up Tempo. These I've are always so loved cute. these shoes. Uh, never got them for myself, but they look so cute on Kai. And lastly, I got these for Mooch. These she can only probably wear until like December. <laughs> She'll probably grow out of it. These are a little bit bigger, so she'll be able to wear it for a while. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put so I have the eggs, turkey, breadcrumbs, and put some parmesan, eat oregano. You know, I was also thinking like meatballs are easier for the babies to eat than a meat sauce, you know? Meatballs look so good. Then I made myself a little side of like my go-to vegetables. I just wanted to use up the onion that we had in the fridge and also the tomatoes. Yes, baby. I didn't want these tomatoes to go bad. And then we also had a half of a red onion in the fridge. So I just baked that in the air fryer real quick and added some Parmesan to that too. And then here is the spaghetti. Mel just made a sauce with some leftover marinara that we had in the fridge and he blended some cottage cheese in that too and seasoning you know add some protein but yeah guys that's our dinner i'll show you guys once it's plated hey guys here's dinner it actually turned out so good so again i have the roasted vegetables above the pasta we got the meatballs next time i will definitely put a side of the sauce so i can toss the meatballs in the sauce so they can get nice and coated but i just topped it with some of the parsley and parmesan now we're about to dig in just finished eating dinner and i get a text from amiga and he's inviting us to a Halloween party that's gonna be, hold on, what is this hair doing? So Amiga texts me about this Halloween party that's gonna be going on while we're in town. And I was like, thank goodness you texted me now. Cause again, we leave tomorrow morning. So I had a chance to actually pack a costume cause I definitely wasn't thinking about bringing a Halloween costume with me. So luckily I got a huge package in the mail from 
Windsor with Halloween costumes. So I just went through that real quick. And I think I'm gonna go with this, you guys. It is Little Red Riding Hood. Of course, I'm not gonna wear like my bra under it and my faja and all that stuff. I just threw it on real quick. Okay, it's hard to put the hood on with one hand. But yeah, it's Little Red Riding Hood. And I think it's gonna be really cute, you guys. I just need a little basket. And I'm gonna wear, like obviously I'm not gonna wear the faja with it and wear some heels to make it a little sexier. And then I want Mel to be the big bad wolf. So I just think that'd be such a cute little Halloween idea. So this is what I'm planning on wearing, but I know myself, I'll pack things and then when the day comes, I'm like, eh, I'm not really feeling it. So I am bringing a safety costume. So this is my safety costume. Again, I might just end up going with this because I think the whole thing that would make the Little Red Riding Hood costume cute is if Mel is the wolf, but Mel might not be able to make the party. So if he doesn't come, I'm just gonna save this costume and then wear this. It is a full body sheer cat suit. If you guys look up close, it has like the leopard print. And then we have the little cat mask. But yeah, guys, I'm definitely gonna take this as well. So I'm about to pack up my clothes and you guys know my system when I pack, like I go through my closet and I just, if I know it's something that I think I'm gonna wear, I just rip it off the hanger, throw it on the floor. So right now I have like a mountain in my closet that I have to go through. Honestly, my packing style for how organized I really am in real life, my packing style is pretty chaotic. But once I get that pile on the ground, I then condense it. So then I started to put together outfits. But again, my outfits are going to be so, so simple. So I'm not stressed about it. Guys, I hate packing. I literally hate packing so much. Mel actually does all the packing for all the kids whenever we travel. And he's just so good at it. For him, packing is so effortless. And then for me, it's like pulling teeth. Like I hate doing it. But I did place a huge order Oh, I almost hit myself in the head. So yeah, I got a huge package from Skims. I spent a pretty penny, you guys. Um, oh, I actually have more clothes because my Skims package came in two separate orders. So my other package is in my office. I have to go grab it. But I did order some basic stuff that I am going to take with me. I needed a good, like, fresh pair of leggings. So I did order those. This is a swimsuit. But I needed like a good, just like basic black triangle bikini. So I did get one of those from Skims. I hear their swim is really good, like amazing quality. This is so small. Oh my God, guys, this is very tiny. I think I'm gonna exchange it for a large. Like right off the bat, I just know this is gonna be small. So who knows? I am super swollen. So guys, don't think these are gonna stay this size. They are gonna go down. Like Dr. Gravami was like, the swelling is gonna go down like 40% in size so just wait but i need that to come sooner because right now guys they feel so big i really i'm not good with fabrics you guys i don't know how to describe the material but i do have a few items from the outdoor collection so i got a pair of sweatpants and i love that they're like a flare bottom or a straight leg i guess i have to try it on i'm not sure what it looks like but then i got the matching jacket so i think that would be a cute fit this is a tube dress cotton jersey pants. Oh, I got some, these are like yoga pants. Yeah, I just got some. <laughs> it's so crazy guys, like we were wearing this stuff back in middle school, like the fold over yoga pants. Like remember, I would say like pink. I swear I had some that were like zebra print. It would say like pink on the back. So cute. So I just got a pair of like basic um, yoga pants from Skims. And then what's this? Okay, here's the matching jacket to the sweatpants. Here's the jacket. Again, it's super simple, super plain. I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it because I can wear the sweatpants separate. I can wear the jacket separate, but I'll try it on for you guys and show y'all in the mirror so you guys can see how it fits. But are these the same material? Y'all, this material does not look the same. And I swear I bought a set. Is there like different pants? Okay, this I ordered for around the house. But I thought this would be so cute to just lounge in. It's just a romper from the Fits Everybody lace collection. I have a few dresses from this collection. But this color, the camera isn't picking up how beautiful this color is. It is in the shade, it is in the shade Lollipop. But it is like the most beautiful fuchsia, like purpley pink. So... Yeah, again, this is for like in the house. Okay, here are the basic black leggings that I got. So I am planning on wearing these the most in Ohio. So either leggings or sweatpants. And guys, I don't know how people do it, but I see some people wearing full on Faja shapewears with jeans. Like just the idea of that sensation and that feeling. I'm someone who's very picky with 
texture and clothing i swear i feel like that's why i'm not super fashionable you guys because i just sensory wise i don't like the feeling of a lot of material on my body like i need to be comfortable in my clothes i'm not the type of person who will sacrifice my comfort for the fit like i just i can't do it so the idea of wearing jeans over this faja right now like oh i can't like i can't even fathom it here are some more pieces that i got so i picked up a new pair of jammies now typically all my pajamas are black like especially when i'm with the kids that's kind of like my mom uniform like i'm pretty much in all black at all times but i thought it'd be cute to have to get these pajamas specifically for like when i'm filming in the mornings or you know when i'm filming tiktoks or you know skincare routine and i want to be in a cute cozy vibe so i got these white jammies because i'm gonna be real i probably wouldn't wear like pure white pajamas just to wear pajamas like it would definitely be something i want to be like cozy on camera because these kids would get me dirty in like 2.5 seconds but i also got the white button up and then i also got so with that black bikini i got the matching sarong is that how you pronounce it sarong um like the little cover-up um skirt but it's also in that same swimsuit material i did get a few more things but everything else was like super basic like i got a few i think i got like a basic like tube dress what's this in here this is in the packaging still so you guys know i live in dresses so again for the fall i can just pair this with a long like chunky cardigan or a jacket or something but yeah let's go try on this tracksuit set but again i'm pretty disappointed because these aren't matching materials like they're both black but they don't look the same so you guys can definitely see the color and texture way better in this lighting so clearly it's not a matching set but i do like both the pieces individually so the sweatpants i like how they're on the longer side i hate when um sweatpants are like high waters on me i am on the taller side so a lot of sweatpants do that to me so i do like that these go a little longer and then the jacket is also super cute so i could just wear this with a pair of like regular black sweatpants or you know the leggings or something like that so i just wish they were matching but it's okay Yes, we're going to Ohio today. Baby, I've been going nowhere, baby. It's time to start all over and go for it. into dreams baby what can i do when a million things are running through million things i can't undo i just sleep walk i just sleep talk that's all i got what can i say with a million things i can't erase million people i can't save i just sleep walk i just sleep talk good morning guys if you hear the kids they are on one today okay like they're being so Oh my. Yeah, you could definitely hear Gabe on. I was like, KK, I'm trying to talk to guys. Can we tone it down just a smidge? But yeah, guys, we are getting ready to go to the airport. And don't mind the pile of clothes. I just feel like everything around me is chaotic. I didn't really have time to like clean before we go. Okay, this pile of clothes behind me is not it. So we are ready to go to the airport. And you guys, I started using a lash serum for only like two days. Okay. And I have dark circles and red eyes. If you guys have ever used um, a like really strong lash serum, let me know if that's ever happened to you, but I get the worst side effects with them. I used to use this one lash serum religiously after I'd cave on. And don't get me wrong, my lashes looked beautiful. Like they were so long, they looked so nice. But I remember my eyes were always bloodshot around the time. And I didn't know it was because of the lash serum. And I started getting comments under my videos on Instagram, like, girl, you look fried. Like, and that was actually when I discovered Lumify because again, my eyes were bloodshot. But again, I didn't know it was because of the lash serum. I just thought, you know, I'm a new mom. I'm sleeping less. Like I'm getting my dark circles. And I was unfortunately reminded again why I don't like to use lash serum last night. Because again, I used it for two nights in a row. 
I don't wear concealer on the daily, but I really feel like I need concealer. And my eyes, again, are super red, but I don't have any eye, um, eye drops. So again, I just look super exhausted. So I posted a picture from the other day when I went to Kelly's baby shower. Kayvon and I took some pictures outside, like we had some matching outfits. And I got some comments under the picture saying like, her body looks the same. People are like, she has cankles, like just being so evil and mean. First of all, those comments are just super rude in general, but I think a lot of people are so uneducated on surgery, which I don't blame them. Again, this is such a taboo topic, nobody talks about it. But I just think a lot of people are just so, okay, this concealer looks awful. Now my eyes are gonna look extra irritated. <laughs> but as I was saying, I just think so many people are uneducated on the true healing process of surgery. I think this is gonna be too dark. So again, the initial recovery period is six weeks. Now I wasn't even in that picture, I'm just wearing like regular shaper. Like I wasn't even supposed to be out of my surgical garments. So I probably was super swollen. I am, I'm still super, super swollen, but I was probably extra swollen in that picture because again, I'm like not wearing my surgical garments and you should pretty much live in them for the first six weeks. So yeah, obviously, again, like I just think people don't realize like you're gonna be super duper swollen for so long. And that's why I said on my Snapchat, I was like, if you're planning on getting lipo before something big in your life, like your birthday, a wedding, whatever the case may be, like you really need to give yourself. Dr. Gabami told me my swelling can come and go for like six months to a year. So you need to give yourself a minimum of six months. So again, I think a lot of people just think with all surgeries, even rhinoplasty, like guys, after I got my nose done, the healing period for your nose, like a nose job recovery is literally up to two years. It takes up to two years to heal from your rhinoplasty and i was getting comments on my videos like two months after surgery like oh my god she looks so different oh my god her nose is botched so again people just don't give you time to heal and it's really frustrating guys these concealers are not looking good to, uh, under my eyes right now like i already don't feel cute woke up to comments saying this that and the third like i'm just being real i'm just not having a good day i'm just rocking the dark circles today guys i don't know what's going on but no concealer looks good on me right now it looks, I honestly, I'd rather have dark circles than like dry, crepey under eyes. Okay, this is my last attempt at concealer. If this doesn't look good, then I'm over it. I'm done. I need to call my mom and see if she has eye drops because guys, I cannot get over how red my eyes are. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's probably not picking it up, but trust me in real life, like my eyes are pretty red. I'm just gonna put on some mascara and then call it a day again. I'm just keeping it super simple. Guys, this was like the most chaotic morning of life. I don't wanna talk about it. Now this morning, it's just already traveling with kids is a lot. You know, we have a lot of bags, a lot of stuff, the stroller and everything, but the kids were just on one this morning. Like the babies, I will say it is close to their nap time. So they were both just crying and crying. Well, and you guys know, like as a parent, when you're already stressed out and have a lot to do and overwhelmed, when there's crying on top of it, it was just like, <sighs> but we made it here in one piece. And then the parking lot is full. The garage, we always park at the garage when we come to the airport, but it's full. I swear our only saving grace right now is that we're flying out of Burbank and not LAX. Like if we were flying out of LAX, I would have been like, y'all plan my funeral plan my funeral because i'm about to just drop in the middle of this airport kai 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 fell asleep right when we got in the car Wichi, yes we're going in the airplane k which is awake kk you excited for the airplane we're gonna go to ohio this baby no emmy's waiting for us in the airport okay emmy's waiting for us in the airport no Guys, look at how much stuff we got. Well, mind you, we do have my mom's suitcase too, right? Yeah, that's my mom's. But still, we got a ton of stuff. We got the stroller. Which one are you pushing for? Huh? Which, which, which one are you okay. pushing My baby boy was sleep. Hi, Emmy. Yo, Ohio. Yes. Guys, mama Ubered separate, by the way. Yeah. She was feeling real fancy. Because Nazi is full hand. No place for me. Yeah, there's no space in the car for Emmy. 
Guys, look at this little contraption Mel found for KK on Amazon. KK. KK. That's so cool, Kay. I want one of those. Wait, that was someone's shirt. Guys, we're all spread apart. Hi. Mama's over here. Yeah, I say hi. 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 Daddy's up hi. there. KK. Do that, baby. Sorry. Made it for our first flight. Our first flight was really short. It was to Phoenix. So now we're in. Kai's trying to grab the camera. Now we're in the Amex Lounge in Phoenix. Just getting some food. This lounge doesn't have like a kids room. That's why we always like to stop in um, Dallas because the Dallas Amex Lounge has like this like kids family room. It's for the babies. I just need some sanitizer. Mel made a little plate for the babies. We got some pasta salad. Or these like donuts, donut holes. We got pasta salad. We got some chicken. What was this? Potatoes. Potatoes, cucumber. Um, babe, can you grab my sanitizer in my purse? I don't want to put my hands all over there. Guys, my mom just goes to the little donut hole. My mom thought it was falafel. I love when Kai smacks his little lips. <laughs> That's how you know he's enjoying it. What happened to us, mommy? Ma, literally, from the second I opened my eyes this morning, mm -hmm. it's just been bad vibes today. You know when the energy is off? Mm -hmm. The energy has just been off. <laughs> Who is that boy? Who is that boy? <laughs> huh? Is my boy? Is my KK? Mm -hmm. KK wants to go on airplane. Yeah. That's all we want. <laughs> Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a little update on what happened. I am I was trying to talk to you guys in the previous clip, but I'm telling you, all day has just been pure chaos. So I didn't get a chance to tell you guys, but it's been a few hours and we missed our connecting flight. So we got to Phoenix, had our layover, and guys, this happened to Baba forever ago and we still to this day make fun of him for it, but it ended up happening to us too. So we were literally at our gate just chilling but we had our backs to the to the gate so we were facing this way the gate is over here and the plane is boarding and the gate where our plane was boarding is one of those sections in the airport where there's like a bunch of gates super close together like the gate right next to it like they were all just like right next to each other so in front of our gate it just looked extremely crowded Hi. oh <laughs> okay you okay baby yeah come here baby so in front of our gate looked extremely busy and we're the type of people we like to board the plane last we're never the people that are like first in line so we're like okay the plane is boarding let's just chill for a sec and mel ends up turning around he turns around and looks and it says flight closed and we're like oh my god what is going on we run to the gate and we're like please let us on the plane and they're like it's closed you missed your flight please go to customer service get your new tickets guys the plane was literally right there like i'm telling you we were looking outside of the glass there were still people were in line boarding our plane um they were getting <laughs> hi mom hi, Muchi. hi Muchi. Ah. ma tell them about how our plane was right there yeah like we, we were watching them put the suitcases and sitting on and uh, watching like oh god guys when i tell you i was begging i was like me, me, me. please Kayvon bursted into tears, right, Kay? You got so upset. Kayvon was crying to the flight person. The, I want to oh, Yeah, the you. gate attendant. They were like, please, I want to go on airplane. I want to go on airplane. They did not care, you guys. They were like, look, 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 you look. need to call customer service. Look. Oh, my goodness. Not mooch all over the airport floor. But, yeah, they were like, you guys need to go to the customer service and get a new flight. <sighs> guys it was so frustrating in the heat of the moment because again like i told you guys just all day has just been super chaotic and then for that to happen like the vibes have just been off this whole day 
so I remember I'm just like begging to the gate attendant. I'm like, please, we got three kids. Like, it's going to be so hard to get on another flight. I had to go to customer service. We go to customer service. They tell us the next flight for American Airlines is 11 p.m. Not even 11 p.m. I think like 11.50 p.m. So we want to get to Columbus until <sighs> 10. <sighs> So we want to get to Columbus until 10 a.m., which I just knew with the kids that would be way too difficult. So I get online real quick and I look for other flights out of Phoenix to Columbus and I find that Southwest has a flight at 6.50. So that was about a two hour wait. So I ended up just booking that, took the L, booked new plane tickets. I mean, luckily it was just one way, so it wasn't terrible. But yeah, I booked us tickets for Southwest for the 650 flight, I can't even imagine having my family sit at the airport until 11. Again, if it was just Mel and I, or if it was like my mom, Mel and I, definitely we could have just chilled until 11, but I knew the kids would get super uncomfortable. It would throw their whole entire next day off. So we ended up just booking the 650 flight. So that's what we're doing. We just ate some Chick-fil-A and it's almost time to board our new flight. I just can't well, wait to go home. I you know want to go to an airplane. I know. I know you love airplanes, KK. And, and I see then, Jumanji Pop. And, 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 and I love going to Ohio too. Why do you like going to Ohio? Because, because I love Virginia. You I love, love I love Virginia to go to Ohio. Hi, Kai Kai. Guys, it honestly worked out for the better because we tried to change our seats on the flight for the original flight and we were just all scattered around so we weren't able to change our plane tickets and guys all of us were middle seats so it was like two in front of each other in the middle seat and then another two all the way in the back of, of the plane so our seats weren't great at all so i really mommy, think it was meant mommy, to be mommy, yes baby the airplane gonna leave. no the airplane's not gonna leave us this time i promise so with this next flight with southwest um they told us our flight is pretty much empty like there's like 30 empty seats on the plane so like, you know what? It worked out for the best. It worked out for the better. Let's go. Okay. I can go Bobby. So, bye. You're going to go on the airplane by yourself? Because you're not going to miss mommy? Because, because you're not coming. Come on, Kay. Let's go. Let's go to the airplane. Look at the boys. Chilling. I got his own seat. Babe, I can't see. got our rental car guys Chevy Tahoe we were in between the Chevy Tahoe or this right here the Ford honestly they look pretty identical let's see what the back looks like for the kids oh this is nice babe I like the gray interior yeah I like it too so fresh and clean our cars definitely don't look like this in the back that's for sure Mal like just directed that. A few steps, door close, close it from there. Next clip. It's a nice smooth transition. We love your creative mind. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool Prindle. Mm -hmm. Gear shift. Finally got our bags, you guys. I have to give you a little story time when we get back in the car. There was a little firefighter station, so we asked if we can take some stuff home for KK. They gave us a little coloring book, a hat. Guys, this is one of Mel's specialty. He can make everything fit in the car. Well, this one's like pretty open, but literally the car will be stuffed to the max and Mel will figure out a way to get everything in there. That's for sure. Guys, wait. So you know why. Why, babe? So you drive trucks. Mel loves saying that, guys. Mel and Baba are similar in that sense. They love referencing the things that they used to do. Baba's the same way. He'll be like, I used to be I used to be a farmer. I used to be a I doctor. Was, I used to I was, be a I teacher. I used to be a resume king. I worked a lot of jobs. I'm not going to put months and months and years into one company. I learned a little bit from here, learned a little bit from here. I did door to door sales. I drove trucks. I've done everything. The jack of all trades. Guys, a little story time. Well, I already updated you guys at the airport that we missed our flight. So we had to end up buying a whole new ticket so we can get on a Southwest flight because there was no way we were going to be at the airport 
with three kids until 11 p.m. Like it was already 3 p.m. Oh my god, so. it was. Mel and I were talking about it right now, and we were like, if it was just us two, we probably would have just, you know, got a little Uber, went to go eat, explored Phoenix a little bit, maybe, and then came maybe back to the visited airport. Raylene and Reese. Yes, the know. new baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, with the three kids, I'm like, for my mental health, we got to just get on an earlier flight. So we get to Ohio at what 1 a.m. 1 30 1 30 so our bags came but they obviously locked it in the office that closes at midnight so we had and yeah this no is bags. columbus guys you've never been here the airport is literally a destination airport it's not a layover airport so that like when it's Everything closed is closed. closed yeah so the airport the american airlines office closed at 12 at midnight and our bags were in there so we had no bags but mind you guys the flight so our second flight was terrible awful horrible horrible, horrible. and i will say though Kayvon, the whole entire day he was an angel yeah. like i am down to travel anywhere with Kayvon. he's really, at a good age we really now. don't have like big problems with Kayvon traveling yeah like in a while because he's He'll pretty used to it phases. and he loves airplanes yeah but sometimes it would just be more so the layovers with KK, like him crying over one ice cream or something like that. Yeah. But other than that, he's usually pretty chill. But the second flight, you guys, so us not getting on that flight that we were originally planning on going on, Kai ended up taking a nap, you guys saw, before we got on the plane. So our whole idea was that the babies were going to nap on the second flight. But with our flight, we had to wait like an extra three hours. Arya didn't sleep. Kai napped, so he but wasn't napping for like in the 40 minutes, 50 minutes. It wasn't enough. So it enough. just threw it off. But on our second flight, like the twins took turns crying. Like either Arya was, Arya wasn't like too bad until the very end, but she was just so overtired. But guys, at one point, like you know, it's bad when the flight attendant was literally like holding Arya. Yeah. Like that is how bad it was getting. Flight attendant was an angel. She has five kids herself, so she was just super sweet. I remember because. Aria would have stopped crying, so I just finally stood up and that helped her stop crying. And I like walked in the aisle way and I just went to the bathroom and I let her like play in the bathroom, if that makes sense. Like she just liked the lights, you know how the lights were like blue. So that helped her calm down and looking at herself in the mirror helps her calm down. But she ended up needing a diaper change. So when I went to go grab the diapers, I went back to the seat. Mel and my mom were like, Where's Aria? And I'm like, Oh, she's with the flight attendant. It's okay. But <laughs> Yeah, I was like, why are you back here? <laughs> but guys, when I so I changed Arya's diaper and I needed to wash my hands, so I just put her right next to me on the ground like she was just standing. All of a sudden I look down and I see Arya, she's not even making noise. She's like and I'm like I didn't understand at first. I'm looking at her like Yeah. Is her foot stuck? Like what? I look guys, her fingers, the top of her fingers were stuck. You know how the trash can and the um in the airplane. airport in the airplane bathroom is like that one you push it in and you like throw your trash in so she had her fingers stuck at the top yeah so it was really clamping down on them. yeah like clamping down hard <laughs> and my mom when i walked out there were like the entire airplane heard that i remember i was like my mom came to like knock on the door but i was like so busy like trying to console aria that i didn't even hear the door knocking but yeah it definitely was crazy. it was just it was just hard but other than that, like, Arya was chilling. Luckily, uh, Kayvon slept on the second flight. The twins were, like, playing with the iPad, so that helped them, like, relax a little bit. But it was just a really hard flight overall. Honestly, honestly, it was a blessing and a curse, though, because our original flight that got, there not got canceled, that we missed, that we our missed. original flight that we missed, the seating was horrible. Yeah. It was very horrible. And I think the airlines, when you book and you put, and you select a child, they should automatically put your seats together. No, we were all middle. So we had all middle seats. Like it would be yeah, like, like two, me, like this, and then KK behind me, and then like seven rows in front of us would be her mom, and then Nas behind her. Southwest is first come, first serve seating. You go by groups. When you go with the group, you pick your own seat. But if you're with children, so after group A goes, they um then they allow a certain amount of time for people with kids to get on the plane. Mm -hmm. So we were the so, second, like to make sure on. you guys can sit with your kids. Yeah. So that alone was really nice. So yeah, that made everything a lot better because we had me, the whole row, like me this. and KK had a whole row to ourselves. Kai was sitting with us at the beginning, but then he ended up moving over by Aria. Nas and her mom had a whole row, so the kids could kind of walk back and forth a little bit. Yeah. KK got to lay completely down and stretch out. So 
but they were just so overtired yeah. by the time we got to the that's why i was grade. that's why i was saying it's a bittersweet situation because we got better seating it was a better setup to handle all the tears and everything that was going on because we didn't yeah. have anybody like next to yeah, us yeah. who's gonna text his family like oh my god i've been sitting next to this crying baby this entire flight yeah. and again with us not having our bags like we couldn't even do this is why we look like this right now <laughs> Like we couldn't even do our skincare routine. Another problem that we had guys, I feel like a lot of the meltdowns would have been avoided if we had enough milk. So it was a miscommunication. Mel thought my mom put the whole tub of formula in the, in the um, diaper bag and then vice versa. Like well, my mom thought you did it. What happened is your mom said, do you want me to pack this, this tub of milk? I said, yeah, you can pack it. And then I walked away to do what I was doing. And then she came to Nas and said, where should I put this? And then Nas says, Mel, said, will, Mel handle will handle it. it. But not knowing that we already had a conversation with her mom. So we ended up leaving the formula at home. And that's the thing. The babies wanted milk. Like they drink like, again, with our, we had enough milk, but that was before we had to sit at the airport for another like three, four hours. Mm -hmm. But again, at least KK was sleeping because... Sometimes KK does add to the fire a little bit. If he hears the baby screaming, he'll no, just he goofily he scream like, yeah. or like he'll try and start, start a tantrum to get, you know, attention, which sometimes I feel bad because I know when the babies start crying, we like run to them. Like, yeah. He so wants he attention. wants that same attention, but I'm like, well, he KK, was a big sometimes boy. it does not help. But yeah, he, was, he was very a good boy. yesterday. I love my KK. He was very helpful. Like when I needed to um, push the luggages, like he would always grab a luggage and help me. He was very helpful yesterday when we landed. We needed oh, to go up KK. and check for the luggages. He came with me. He's like, Daddy, I don't see anybody here. There's no workers. It's I know. closed. Hey. You should have seen. So me and my mom sat downstairs while Mel and Kayvon went up to the like the American Airlines desk to ask like what's going on. You should have seen. Mel came downstairs with damn near tears in his eyes. And Kayvon was just like, Mommy, they're closed. There's no one here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> And I'm just I like, did all the talking. Mel was just like so holding back tears. like about to cry because I'm like, bro, this has been such a hard day. I know. And then now the we day don't have our just, bags on top of it. It we was don't just have like anything. Things just stacking up and stacking up and stacking up. And guys, you know? don't get us wrong. This is not horrible by I any know, means. I know, I know, guys. We're just dramatic. We talked to you guys like this was, we were FaceTiming our besties right now, telling yeah. them what was going this on. the same way we called our parents. I just feel like a lot of times when like influencers talk about this stuff in videos, you guys will think that we're like, oh, what was me? Feel bad for us. Yeah. Like, we're just telling we're just you telling like you what, what we went through. Just the same way I called my mom when we landed and told her everything. So you guys are like family. So we're talking to you like family. So I don't want people to be like, look at them. They're complaining about it. Right. Like the privilege. Yeah, they like, like, privilege. People like, lose oh their God. flights all the time. Like, it's not that. We're just saying that. And guys, we know that it's our own stupidity. Like, I know. We're sitting there at the, at the gate. Idiots. Watching people get on the plane, but thinking that it's for another plane. So we're not blaming anybody. We're not mad at the airlines. We're not mad at American. We're, like we're not complaining about anything. We're just telling you what happened, what we went through, and how our own stupidity led to a horrible <laughs> night. <laughs> I fully believe this was my mom and I's karma, because. So why did I have to get? Because you were you were just with us, unfortunately. But like this has happened to my dad before years ago. Like my dad just sat there, watched his plane get. Everybody went in the plane, and he just watched his plane fly away. And he's like, wait. And whenever he would tell us that story, my mom and I would be like, how could you be so dumb? You know, I swear, every time we tell that story, we're like, oh, that's only something that would happen to Bob. But at least in our case, it literally, there was a corner of this airport with three gates in the corner. Like next to each and other. And all the lines were together. And I remember your mom was even like, there's a lot of people flying to Columbus. And we're all like, yeah, this is crazy. Like flying from Phoenix to Columbus is a lot of people. And but there even, was three, like literally all clumped together. So when the line for the one that was actually boarding got short, that's when I looked and I'm like, wait, our door is closed and the screen says it's closed. When I was trying to beg for us to get back on the plane, she said that they gave our seats to standby. So it's like done, like our seats were yeah. taken. And she's claiming that she called our name. I was like, we're girl, we're sitting, sitting right sitting by the there. gate. Unless you picked it up and started whispering. You did not call us. Even I remember when we went up to the customer service desk and we were talking about switching our flights. Like she said 11 and you were like, AM? And she goes, <sighs> No, no, babe. she said we would land at 10. And I said, 10 AM? Babe, she was so annoyed at your question. She was like. <laughs> I was like, that's a valid question. It's literally 3 it's, PM no, right okay. now. Bro, break all that information down when you tell me. I have a red-eye flight. You'll get out of here at 11 p.m. You land at 10 a.m. I'm like, I have a flight at 11 that lands at 10. 10 Again, what? 10 pickles? Empathy. What do you mean? What 10? 
Like, who just says that? I have a flight at 11, it lands at 10. 10 what? <laughs> like, what? Then we go to check in for our Southwest flight. <gasps> oh my we God. We scan all of, our, all of our boarding passes and she says, she counts and says, there's five of you? We didn't know. So with American, your kids, your babies, lap infants don't need their own boarding pass. But with Southwest, they need their own boarding pass. Yeah, and we didn't get that for and some reason. If she would have just said the babies need a boarding pass, I would have ran up to the gate real quick and gone to them printed, which I ended up doing. But she's sitting here saying you guys should be five people, which total were six people. Yeah, I'm like, what do you mean? Right? You should like, what do you like want to? With the twins, it's she six. wanted us to she's morph like, the well, babies five together people. for the flight. So I'm like five people, and then she names this name that I don't know. She turns the computer and she's like naming all these people, and I'm like, I don't know. I literally say, I'm like, I don't I'm know. Like, we these literally people. just scan all our boarding passes. Who is this person? Like, we don't have this person's boarding. And pass. guys, just know, just again with traveling with three little kids, like our hands are so full. Two we have, like, of the we stroller. have like six like items in our hands and she's I'm, sitting here telling me we're five people i'm like where's yeah. the five <laughs> literally and guys the worst part is they don't have two people scanning people and it's one person so i'm sitting here like trying to figure out what this lady is saying with this line of people everybody just staring like this they're like they like Everybody from Group B is in line waiting to board the plane, and she's sitting here telling us that we have five boarding passes, five adult boarding passes. When we and I was like, "Where's the five? And I'm sitting here holding like I have KK stroller, I have two pieces of the baby stroller, I have Kai in my arm. Finally, we got to the conclusion that I need to get the baby's boarding passes printed, so I had to run up to the gate real quick. Like I had to go up to the desk. They got the tickets printed, but mind you, again, like. They are holding up the whole line yeah. for this. To me, it's just... I was some, so embarrassed. It's the babe. lack of communication. I'm I like, know. Instead of telling us, accounting uh, our boarding passes, just say that the babies need boarding passes. I know. They would have just made it so quick It would quick have been like two go. seconds. Guys, we literally... I was like, let's just update the vlog real quick, and now we're at 14 minutes. Well, it's a whole video in itself. I know, itself. it's a whole video in itself. Okay, guys, now we're going to go eat, but I'll continue this vlog. Should I move? Another video, yeah. I had Mel repark because in front of the restaurant we're about to eat at... It didn't have good lighting, so I was like, can you move? Do you like this Tahoe? It's nice. See, this I'm, is how the lighting was in front of the restaurant. I was like, I don't I'm like glad it. I didn't, we didn't get this as our car, though. Why? It's a big, heavy-ass vehicle. It's hard to drive? Yeah. That's the thing. Like, I can drive the minivan. I can the drive Kia the Kia has Carnival. the space that we need, but it doesn't feel so heavy. It feels like you're driving, like, a sedan almost. This is just... I don't think I could drive. Even parking, like, this big body. Backing out of parking spots is huge. <laughs> Hey guys.